Windows 10 is dead, but that's not going to be the topic today. Today we're going to look at the first version of Windows 10, which was released back in 2015. We're going to look at everything that changed up to the newest version, which we are going to compare it to, which is the version from 2025. Let's go. So let's first go on down here and open the start menu and we can see here a lot of stuff has changed. I will just expand it a bit here. We have the user account here. We have the most used apps and we're also going to look at the apps in detail more later. We have the recently edit, which uh, we will get to because I managed to install the newest Microsoft Edge version. We have the file explorer here. We have the power here, this context menu. This looks different and we have all apps here and this start menu really looks different this is the way the start menu looks today we have the all recently added programs here we can scroll down here our tiles here which are i don't know why they are sorted in this way uh, this is a new windows 10 installation not really interesting all of you guys will know how windows 10 looks today so let's have a look at the other features that we have here we have searched the web and windows we have the old microsoft edge browser the file explorer and the windows store or it's just called store. It closes all the time by itself. I can't do anything. If I open it, it just closes again. I don't know why. We have the hidden icons here, the internet connection network settings thing, which is completely empty here. And we also have the notification, which really looks different because this here is actually kind of transparent a bit, which is not the case in the newest Windows version. We have this here. This is also transparent. Interesting. In the newest Windows version, we have way less of a transparency effect. It's really blurred. In the new Windows version, the task bar is also changed we have like this weather thing here which is also in windows 11 which i have disabled in my installation this is kind of annoying i would turn it off the taskbar looks similar the icons have changed a bit here but overall it's similar but the blur effect here is way more present interesting this one doesn't have the blur effect the volume control doesn't have the blur effect as well the sounds are the same well, let's have a look at the programs down here get started get connected to the internet looks like you're not connected to the internet yeah i'm not get skype oh this was a time where skype was still used yeah today skype is already offline i think since this year skype is offline then we have maps are these like the big maps i think they're still there today let windows maps access your location no let's turn on the internet and see if it works okay nothing happens it's not working at all let's try the windows store now okay it doesn't work even with internet turned on weather search for a city let's do new york for example it looks like you are currently offline please connect to the i am connected so this app doesn't work as well let's open the old microsoft edge and let's go to google.com reject all it's actually working youtube let's try youtube blank page this page is having a problem loading settings this settings look different and they are very basic choose a theme dark theme now we have the dark theme photos choose an account close here we have the photos app which really looks different the newest version of windows 10 actually has all the windows 11 apps so this is just literally a windows 11 app this looks identical to the windows 11 apps i think that's the case for all of these apps here yeah they have the windows 11 icons this calculator here is windows 11 style same for the clock here it's all the windows 11 applications so we actually don't have any windows 10 applications on the newest version anymore from the applications it's just basically windows 11 without being windows 11 but the settings are different the settings are still the windows 10 settings which are all right i think the windows 11 settings are good as well but i guess windows 10 had way less spying features than windows 11 us, or how Microsoft calls it recall, your version of Windows has reached the end of support. Yeah, Windows 10 is officially dead now, but these are the typical Windows 10 settings. But let's look at the settings in Windows 10 from 2015 now. Wow, this does look different now. We have the system here, devices, network and internet personalization, which I probably can't do because I need to activate Windows. Yes, the sidebar here also looks completely different. Apps and features. We VMware tools is actually the biggest application on here. There is not much stuff on here. Why is this so low resolution? I only have 11 gigabytes use of space. The current Windows
Windows 10 install has used almost 30 GB of my storage for no reason and I think Windows 11 is even worse. The settings have really changed actually. Accounts, I have a local account, Windows 10 didn't force me to have a Microsoft account as Windows 11 does today. Privacy, change privacy options, send Microsoft info about how I write to help improving no, but there is way less spying going on here. Getting to know you. I'm not really sure if they need to know me. I have my tiles here. I can move them around. They look better here than in the current Windows 10. Here they just look a bit misplaced because they have the Windows 11 icons and a lot of empty space here, which they didn't have back then. The tiles here are not really useful. Groove Music. This is the music app we still have today. It was called Groove Music here. It looks different from the music app today. Oh, in the newest Windows 10 version, it's just called Media Player. And this is basically the Windows 11 app. So no Windows 10 apps here anymore. We have the OneNote app here. Jot down things to remember. Notes are always saved automatically. Oh, I need to sign in here with the Microsoft account. It doesn't work without. Okay, money. Check your connection. So I think these apps are probably not going to work anyway. Movies and TV. This app still exists on Windows 11 but looks different now. Microsoft Solitaire Collection. Press WinG to open the game bar. This here was the old game bar. Oh, this is really small and I can't move it outside the window. Okay. Oh, this really has a few Solitaire games which I all can't play. This is a nice app, I guess, if you want to play Solitaire which I can't. In the newest Windows 10 release, it's called Solitaire and Casual Games. I think this is the version which is full of ads, is it? Play ad free yes it's like a cheap mobile game jewel 2 why is it so laggy i don't want to sign in get premium no i need to get premium to play with full screen get premium windows store error i think i've seen all of these tiles here we have cortana does cortana work next i agree okay i need to sign in with a microsoft account no no thanks it doesn't work cortana is offline that was microsoft's try of creating a voice assistant we have the calculator mail oh yeah this is the old windows mail app before it got discontinued news which won't work onedrive onenote sports service is currently not available so yeah everything here doesn't work at all all offline like even the weather app doesn't work windows accessories the internet explorer is still here right this was uh, disabled in the newer version of windows 10 even though it was still there it wants me to download microsoft edge but i'm just going to close internet explorer and this also has the typical windows stuff which is actually oh yeah the old version of paint does the newest version version of Windows 10 still have this or do they have the Windows 11 version paint? Oh, this actually has the Windows 10 version. I think all apps which are the Windows 11 versions are actually apps that come from the Microsoft store, which is also the Windows 11 store. And all apps that ship with the operating system are just left at its default Windows 10 variants, like the notepad, for example. Oh, the notepad looks slightly different. We have this weird blue line here. And this here is also lacking the animation that it has today when I open these folders here. What is a 3D builder? I could look at 3D objects here, I think. I think this got removed. Oh no, it's actually still there. Then I think it got removed in Windows 11. But what is this for, actually? Can you, like, import your own 3D stuff in this? Or is this just for looking at Microsoft's creations here? This B from the inside. Oh yeah, I can load in stuff here if I have 3D objects. Oh, we have 3D objects like this. Can I do animation? with this print oh if you have a 3d printer you can you can order online this won't work i have to sign in now let's go online with the newest version of microsoft edge google and this is the newest version of microsoft edge so probably all the edge browser does here when i install it is just checking if this here is the windows 10 or not windows 10 and not which version of windows 10 this is so maybe this also works for other browsers let's try chrome google chrome download chrome let's go to our downloads folder chrome setup run yes okay chrome is installed recently added google chrome and it's working this is the newest version of google chrome can go to about chrome it's up to date interesting so can i just install every new program here on this old version of windows 10 that's crazy oh the search looks really different my stuff and web let's open the chrome app i really want to know if it would be possible to install steam on here steam install steam so let's open our downloads folder and steam setup yes next 
install finish there's no way this also works so the main problem which you would have with this old version of windows 10 is the security problem but programs are still working this is actually crazy it's working but well i wouldn't sign in here because as i said it's not safe all right so we looked at the oldest version of windows 10 today and it was actually really interesting because we saw that windows 10 changed a lot throughout its life period changed from this year to this year and this is windows 10 today oh and they also changed the wallpaper so if you like the video and want to support my channel and see more videos of this kind subscribe to the channel like the video and watch the next video that is now on your screen see you there bye